Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie Rollins and today I'm going to be showing you a very fast small effect on how to give the RGB split VHS look in Premiere. Yeah. That's right, it's only a very small effect, very basic effect to do in Premiere Pro, kind of like the tutorial I did the other day in Photoshop but in Premiere Pro. Would you look at that? So there's multiple ways of doing this and I think once you know the basics you can go on to kind of probably make a better effect by just giving it a little bit more time and thought and playing around with different things but I'm going to give you the basics today on to create that effect. So without, you know, I'm I'm banging on about crap that doesn't matter. So let's go into it. So first of all, you have your clip here on your timeline. Yes, that's right. Got a little clip here of Georgia. And all we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that once. We're going to go to our effects panel. We're going to type in tint. And we're going to whack that on that layer. Then we're going to hold alt again. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I press alt, hold alt, click and drag to duplicate. Alt, oh, click and drag, duplicate. So once we've done that three times, we then have three colors. Do you know what those colors are? RGB, red, green, and blue. Blue for boy. So once we've got those three layers on, all we need to do is change each of the tint values. So let's go to the top one first, and let's go to map white two, and let's just select, bring that here. Let's just select red. The next one, select green. And the next one, let's select blue. So once we've done all that and we've, we've changed them, all we still have is whatever color was on top. So what we need to do is we need to go to blend mode and change that to screen. Then go to the next one, change it to screen, and then go to the third one, change it to screen. So there we go. We now have a kind of bland image, but we've got all the colors that make up the original color. So all we need to do now is the split. So let's take, let's go to a, a point where we're going to kind of see all the colors. So let's go to our first one, which is red, red on top. And let's move the position over to the right a tad bit. So I'm going to change that from 960 over to 963. A little bit more. I'll change it to 967. So I'm just going to say numbers here, but play it to eye. You know, it's different for every shot. It's going to be different for every scenario. What footage you have. You know, if your footage isn't 4K like mine is, then you're not, you're going to have to move it a little bit less. You know, it's just how it works. I'm not going to sit here and go, this is the right way. So sometimes what I like to do is I like to um, put green up a bit because I think that kind of give it that blurred look so if I move that up to 533 and then I'm gonna move blue which is in my bottom one over to the left so we've got this RGB split look here uh, if I put that in full we can kind of see that it's a little bit blurred you know it's it, changing the values will kind of you know give it some people want it more blurred than what other people want and yeah it's just one of those things you've just got to play around with it i hate to say i hate to be that guy but you just have to play around with it a little bit don't quote me on that so there we go the more you align things up the kind of you know sharper it's going to become then the more you blur it obviously it's going to be blurrier blurrier so there we go. I'm kind of happy with that. It's very faint. It's very small. I never want to go over something too much. So once we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click in my project folder. I'm going to go to new item and new adjustment layer. There we go. Keep the settings the same and drag and drop that on top. So this one's kind of if you want to or not. So I think, you know, personally, I think it needs a bit of color in it. It's got to have a bit more color grading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Lumetri color tab, go to creative, and I'm going to choose a filter. I'm not going to use any of the kind of ones that I use because they're all downloaded and you guys won't have them. So I'm going to go with something a little bit more, um, something that's kind of already pre-built in here. Kodak, that kind of looks cool. Quite like that. All right, I want a bit more saturation. But, uh, no, not too much saturation. I want a bit of a faded film effect. So then on the top of that, I'm going to go back to my effects panel. Here we are. And type in noise. So always remember, noise is a pain. Noise is so hardware heavy. It doesn't matter what system you have. Adding noise is always going to be a bit of a ball ache. So as you can see here, it's going to slow down massively. 
Um, a lot of people don't like to put in color uh, grain, but in reality, you know, the grain is going to be in color, so I'd keep it in that because it's how to kind of make it as authentic as you can. Uh, like I say, play around with the noise. Every clip is going to be different. The thing is, if you've got, you know, like I said, not 4K footage, adding in 24, you know, 50 noise is going to be, you're not going to be able to see what you're looking at. So let's, let's stay with this, uh, and I'm going to leave it on about... 10. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more adjustment layer over the top just so I can have more control. I'm going to type into my effects crop. I'm going to grab crop, whack that on there over the top. Then I'm going to take left to 14 and right to 14. So yeah, and there you go. You've got your kind of overarching effect there. And it kind of gives you that that feel i think you know it's very simple it's not the most advanced stuff you can add multiple different things that are going to make it a bit more hardware intensive you know adding a bit of blur blurring one of the layers so let me test that out and they're probably thinking you should have done that before actually looks really good so i'm actually quite happy with how that looks i like the blur the blur looks great so if you're trying to put this in, inside an edit, it can get a bit messy. So what you're going to do is you're going to select all the clips. You're going to right click and you're going to make subsequence or nest, whichever two you want to do. I think for me personally, I like making subsequences. I found that they run a bit easier. They're not as hard on the system as nesting. But if you nest it, you create a nested sequence and there you go. You've got one file there and it will work as one file. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is basically it. I've kind of, you know, I've changed a couple of things in. What I went did is I added a uh, Gaussian blur on top of the red layer, which kind of gives it that more blurred out look. If you've seen my um, Photoshop version of this effect, you'll see that I kind of make the red channel blurred. So, that will kind of make sense to uh, you that have watched that video as well. So, yeah, if you want to see how this works in Photoshop, make sure to... Uh, hits i'm gonna i'll put something up there if you've enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, i'm gonna be bringing out loads more content more on filmmaking video editing and all that crap so if you've enjoyed it make sure to stick around for more and i will see you in the next one